<laughs> hey, nice Hi. to meet you. Legitimate fan of yours and have listened to you so many times. And then I watched it with Betty earlier today. Somebody cheated some performance of yours. How, how did how did that happen? Oh, um, well, I have always done theater my whole life. That's like what I pursued. And I didn't really even consider doing film or TV at all. Um, I didn't really know it was a possibility. Um, oddly, but you'd think that there was just disconnect because I just had my my mind set on Broadway because I was huge fans of like Leia Salonga, Liz Calloway, like Linda Etter, like all these like big Broadway singers. I just like idolized them. Was Broadway the path for you because you liked singing or you liked performing? Both. I mean, I, I started in theater. I grew up in Arizona and there's not like a huge... Uh, media industry. I mean, there is, but like, it's it's not to this level, obviously. Um, so, I, I just got into it. My like, my dad, I think, came across this article that was like, "Do you want to audition for this musical?" And I was. How old were you? Um, ten. But but before that, I was just a crazy, insane kid. <laughs> just like so much energy stealing my dad's camcorder like making crazy commercials about like furniture being on sale like things that you would see on television i was like mimicking it i had my own my own um talk show i did um what was it called happy cup news and i would like report the things that happened today which were like nothing because i lived in phoenix and it was just my small life (laughs) as a six-year-old i have uh some crazy news we actually have footage of your furniture commercial and we'll be right back no (laughs) word from our sponsors oh hi how are you doing today at happy cup news we are going to discuss Come on, try to catch up with me. One, two, three. Happy cup, happy cup, happy cup. News reading, happy cup, happy cup. That wasn't too hard, was it? Drinking a happy cup. Unbelievable. <laughs> What's unbelievable? That we just played your. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We the, snapped to it and then we came yeah, back. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, it was great, right? So, you, you, uh, I wanted to make sure you were telling me more about it, but not between the snaps. So, yeah. you're saying you're very confident about this furniture commercial. I time. was an am- amazing little kid, I think. I personally thought I was so funny. Uh-huh. Like, I thought it was funny then. I think I'm hilarious now. <laughs> so, even better than you were then. Um, as a kid, I, yeah, I was like, that, I was outrageous. Do you have siblings? I do. Yeah. What, I have a have? older sister. She's two and a half years old and years old, <laughs> years older. Um, and she always had an interest for singing and performing as well. But I was like, this is my natural thing that I'm doing. And it's the thing that I love. And I think she always had a beautiful voice and um, loved being on stage. She's very, she was very shy as a kid. So I wasn't. And I would do these videos of me like singing and everything. And she kind of would imitate, um, not imitate what I was doing, but wanted to do the same. And so she would kind of sing, but it would be a little more subdued. And I being the asshole kid that I was, would just jump into the back of the frame and start like doing crazy shit. And she'd start realizing that I was doing it. And you, you see the realization happen and it happened yeah, more than a handful of times. And I feel terrible. I think I traumatized her, to be honest. What's your relationship with her? I mean, I, I feel like you're, you're joking about traumatizing her, but there's obviously something there. So there it is. I, I traumatized her. I mean, the thing is, we're totally in a great place now. Um, but for like a good portion into my 20s, she had a lot of resentment mm. towards me. Um, Did you know that? I realized it when I was 19, I was on tour with a show and I broke my foot and I had to come back home um, to heal. And she was kind of, I don't know, not being the nicest. And finally I broke down and I was like, 
why are you being mean to me? You're my best friend. Like I always thought she was my best friend and she was like, you ruined my childhood. And I was like. By stealing her thunder? She, yeah, she was always um, so smart, such an academic, so ahead, uh, like did extra credit, was four grades ahead in math, uh, graduated early. I always idolized her for that. I was like, my sister has all the potential in the world. She like is so smart. She's so talented, you know, on stage. Um, And so that's the way I saw it. But I think you don't see how often I fail (laughs) and how often the rejection happens and like, are, are you saying that because of all the rejection, you think she doesn't know if she does want to do it? She loves performing, but I don't think she under, she understood anyway at the time what it actually means to pursue it as a career. Because it's so much more than that. It's especially now. I mean, the whole landscape of this industry has changed with influencers and with social media. It's like you have to know how to brand yourself and... We'll push in on the belt. <laughs> just like. <laughs> it's important to just, yeah. you know, find a lane. You're wearing a towel and <laughs> diapers and your crotch is in the window. <laughs> and you just ate, literally know, ate I'm some like shit. <laughs> you're going to brand yourself. M- man spreading right now. Listen, I find that this makes me more relatable. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. Okay? And I'm, I'm trying to, um, I'm working on that um, social media wise. So. Scoot do. Blabbity blue. Scoot. 